Eva, thank you so much for agreeing to speak to Cape Town Don't Travel. Um, we'd like to know, what is the impact of the movie had on your family, and specifically your dad, yourself? Well, I'm, because I live in South Africa, I haven't been able to experience everything that's going on in the States. So most of it's coming through my sisters, and I speak to my dad on, you know, when he's on his way somewhere at the airport or something. He's They've been going really well since January, and they're meeting a lot of people, and it's had a had a tremendous impact on just the number of people that have responded, either on blogs or websites, people from your past. I mean, a lot of stuff happens, but a lot of a lot of positive response, primarily, and um, a lot of like a lot of requests, offers, stories. You know, a lot of things start to happen, and then it starts to grow, kind of um, quickly. And are there any plans to have a concert in Cape Town anytime soon? We're working on um, just some negotiations right now on getting him here uh, early next year, 2013. And it's just in the negotiation phase right now because the schedule's really full in the States and, and it's growing and expanding. And there are other um, possibilities in the new year for him. So it's just trying to work it out and, uh, you know, make sure that he gets here at least for, you know, uh, um, some shows in South Africa. And, hopefully stay for a while and visit. And uh, did you ever foresee, judging from the movie, I mean, you saw your, your father's pick and a little milk carton on the whip. Yeah. Judging from that moment, did you ever foresee that it would be the concerts and the movie and everything no. so many years no. later? No, and it's all like that. I mean, just all of us meeting here, we kind of just walk that way and then things just kind of happen for you, you know? You just put it out and, yeah, I didn't know how big it was going to get and, you know, it was Malik's, Malik's film, so he worked on it a long time, six years, and put it out there, and just from that started a whole new, well, I say a whole new chapter, because it's it's a long story now. I've known these guys for 15 years now, you know, and it's a, there's like a history going, and, and the film just came along now, so it's opening up other, you know, other avenues, meeting people. Who knows what's next? <laughs> and what do you? Why do you love Cape Town? I love Cape Town. Just the energy and and the beauty of it. And uh, as far as traveling, I mean, I haven't been to every single thing to see, but I've done most of the major Cape Town sites and Table Mountain and things like that. I like the energy. Um, I live in wilderness. It's pretty remote, and uh, I've been there a long time. So getting out, you know, the pace is quicker. There's a lot of a lot of things happening in art and, and diversity, and, but it gets too much, and then I go back to wilderness. <laughs> and what is it's your favorite? Best place. Your, your favorite song of your father's? I don't know. They're all I, I. I never really know. I do like Sandra even Lullaby part because that's our song, you know, um, the beginning, the, the instrumental lullaby part. But I, I have different um, perspective of who he's singing about, maybe or where or. So I have, it's like a story, you know, it tells me different things, but um, they all have their moments, you know. <laughs>